Orders from the International Robotics Technology Association Executive Office. 42 hours ago, the IRTA Council approved Rust Crew deployment to enter Japan covertly and investigate reports of Amida Corporation's development of human-like robots. Your orders are to enter the Tokyo Bay seawall and infiltrate the lower city slums, rendezvous with the other national squads, and head for Amida. This is a covert operation without the awareness or consent of the Japanese government. You may engage local forces in combat, but IRTA will disavow any involvement. Good luck, and Godspeed. Welcome to Japan, brother. That's my welcome, your ugly ass? <laughs> Where's all my dancing geisha girls? You ain't seen what I'm wearing under this wetsuit. Is it lace? Yo, Dan! Let's go over the communication system. Use your radio if you want to respond or say something to me. Well, understand how to use your radio now? Good answer. Keep it up. Next, let's go over our gear, handling weapons and battle techniques. You can skip this if you don't need it. So you want to go over your gear and stuff or not? Okay, let's do this, bro. All right, first shooting. Dan, you see that sign over there? All right, then. Shoot that sign. You'll have a better chance of hitting your target if you get in a firing posture first. Good shooting, Dan. Someone's been practicing, huh? Don't forget to reload when you get low on ammo. You don't want to be up shit creek without no bullets. You can also get personal with enemies by quickly bashing them with your weapon. Alright, next let's check out your handgun. Take out your handgun and try shooting that sign. You're glad you're on our side. All right, that about does it. Okay, my man, let's get on with the mission. Over here! Don't forget to grab that ammo there. Get the lead out! Yo, I was wondering, what are your plans after this is all done? You're a bit of a player. Vacation? Chicks? Tropics? <laughs> yeah, I knew it. Same as it ever was. Well, better get this job done quick then. Why we gotta execute the operation in this shitty weather? Get in touch with HQ, too.
Beetle 2 to base. Loud and clear, Beetle 2. Line is secure, tracking locked. Current position, 35 degrees, 6356 seconds, by 139 degrees, 7724 seconds. Ah, thanks, Major. Now, how about in English? You're nearing the target infiltration point, smartass. It's less than a click ahead of you. Yeah, we're approaching now. Shouldn't be a problem. Remember, once you're inside the seawall, maintain radio silence. We'll cut this link once you're through. Any famous last words? Yeah, tell your mama I love you. I heard that, Botang. Base out. Already. I got a visual on six. Seven. The flank of this. Major, we're under attack. How about some ground support? This is what we pay you for, Bojang. Just get to that rendezvous point. <laughs> You're expecting anything different? Not since they started calling you the survivor. Worst day of my life. Hey, that wasn't my idea. Move out! Man, those things are bad news if they get too close. Stop them by shooting their legs. There you go. You got it down. Now put it away for good. Now aim for their heads. They can't tell friends from foe after a solid headshot. Go on, throw their metallic brains out. Remember that. Might come in handy. Shit's in the way. Do something about it. You can't fire that bad boy if you ain't got no power. Gotta charge up somehow. Now we can move forward. That bad boy's crazy powerful, but it takes energy to fire. So don't go shooting it off like crazy. Save it for when you really need it. Damn, a surveillance spot at 12. Careful now. 
and call reinforcements and spot us. Huh? What? It's on to us! Destroy that surveillance box before we're shit deep in enemy reinforcements! Saying? Oh, shit, that's a Grand Rancer! We don't have the firepower to take that down! That's all I needed to hear. Run! Come on, Hanzo! No stopping! Hammer through him! Shit, don't these assholes ever give up? You're almost at the seawall, Beetle 2. Cutting comms? Now. Go on, I'll cover you. Age before beauty, my friend. Everyone's a goddamn chameleon. No! <laughs> Apparently, the Seagate's gonna open to let the tanker in. That we could hitch a ride. Half the time is perfect, or we're shit out of luck. Go for a fast grab. Ready? And the place is crawling with surveillance box. We're dead meat if they spot us. Okay, here's the plan. We move forward stealth-like, hiding in the shadows. Got surveillance spots! Then take cover underwater. Ooh! We dodged a bullet there. Now we gotta hurry. Make up for lost time. Over here, bro! What do you say? Good exercise, huh? Get in shape? Save the world. We got our priorities straight. The spotters have become out there. Sit tight a little longer. Let's go! it off more than we could chew. The gate's open! Come here! I mean now! No end to this! Grab onto the tanker, quick! off more than we could chew. Easy, huh? Now we just chill out. Hold on tight, bro. Okay. Job done. Hoping to touch more chills on the flip side. Got my doubts, though.
Now that's how you do it. Piece of cake. Still, that was a little too flashy for a top secret op. Dan, time for the wire guns. All right, think of these as our express elevators. Take aim! All right, let's not waste time getting through here. Hey, is it my birthday or something? Listen up. Issuing tactical commands is the key to busting out of it. So, you want to go over how it's done? Alright, let's go over. Alright, time for the first command. I want you to say, fire, now. Got it. future you just gotta say fire and it's done baby okay fun stuff now try yelling charge at the top of your voice wow never have thought of that on it but in the future a charge order means you want to get up close and quick but you know have a bit of concern for your boy last tactic you gotta know is regroup try it We need to regroup when you need your team by your side. Handy when we get split up. Remember that. There are a bunch of other commands too, but you'll learn them as you go along. I see the guests are still arriving. Shame they brought guns instead of gifts. Damn, grenade them! Is our ticket. All right, give that button a push, brother. Wasn't a very warm welcome. Guess this one's all business and no pleasure.
the lead out. Oh, hey, check this out. An ammo transit supply terminal, huh? Looks like we can spend our credits here. Dan, give this thing a shot. Hey, looks like it works after all. There's probably more of these things around. Keep your eyes peeled. Quiet here. Keep your eyes peeled. Shit, I knew it. Damn! Watch out for that machine gun fire. Damn! Ain't no gas in it.
Yo, Dan, why'd you puss out back there? You sure you can handle this? Yeah? Then put your money where your mouth is. Don't let me down, brother. Shit, a dead end? Ain't there some way we can get past here? What the hell's that? Some kind of control panel? I get it. We can use it as a bridge to the other side. That's it, brother. Keep it up. Leave the enemy to me. You focus on that crane. Get over to the other side. All right. No sign of more scrap heads. So no rush, brother. We got time to catch our breath. Definitely headed the right way. Be out of this place soon. And then time for the main event. You ready to party? Feels good to be working together again. Hard to believe we're both still alive after all this time. But I got a hunch we'll get through this one too. You feel me? That's my boy. Let's move out. You take point, brother. Cut it out! Danny boy, a freaking star, man! Hang on, brother. They got a lot of eyeballs out there. What do you say? Blitz them? Thought you might say that. Ready when you are. We go as soon as you open that door. Thank <laughs> you. 
Shit, there's no end to this. Okay, here we go. Fire! Like we'll just have to open this big ass gate. It'll only open if we pull these levers together. All right, let's pull. Gotta be kidding me. Do we got anything at all that'll damage this thing? First things first, take cover! Shit, this is bad. Gotta do something. Damn, check it out, up there. Looks like they use a crane in here. Bet we could use it to slam that container into the bastard. There's gotta be a control panel around here. Let's find it. Hi. Hi. Use it to slam that container into the mud. I'll be the bait. You focus on working the crane. Over here, asshole! Want a piece of me? What you waiting for? Bring it on! Yeah, I'm fine, bro. This ain't nothing. Yes! In your face! Now's our chance! Get through that door, quick! We gotta open this door! Give me a hand! Get over here, quick! Not good. The back. Shit, there's no end to this. A dead end. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Just what we need. Damn, let's use that big old steel girder to deliver the knockout blow. I'll be the bait. You work the control panel. Hurry! I'll be the bait. Here he comes. Let him have it.
What in the world did you do to me? Uh, sir? I don't know who this man is. Drop your weapon. This is your first warning. Oh, those ships. Nothing but lies! Drop your weapon. This is your second and final warning. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why? Why, you son of a bitch! Still! Externally indistinguishable from humans? When in God's name did robotics get this advanced? The tech to build a robot skinned in a living layer of cells has been around for some time now. It's just been illegal. Well, it's much more than that, gentlemen. The AI is particularly fascinating. Far beyond our products here at Bergen. We can barely even analyze its neural structure. Well now, Mr. Bergen, this is ridiculous. You? are supposed to have the most advanced R&D in the world. And now you're telling us that someone is just a teensy bit ahead of you. Only because we haven't been allowed to venture into that potentially lucrative area, General. Perhaps if this government hadn't given in and signed the new Geneva Convention, the United States would be producing such robots already. We're a God-fearing country, Mr. Bergen, and only he may create life. Mr. President, this isn't life. Convincing as it may be, it's still a robot. We call them hollow children. If it's indistinguishable from humans, where does the machine end and life begin? Well, this is philosophical bullshit. There are only two things that matter now. Number one, if you did not make this thing, then who did? And number two, why did it come after you? What do we know about this hollow child? It was granted a green card 30 years ago under the name Dominic Berry. 30 years? Jesus H. Christ! If not for yesterday's events, we may never have found out it existed. We're now certain there are more living among us in America. Well, no, that's insane. Not really, General. Now, just what in the hell do you think you're doing? You see, it would appear that hollow children actually believe they're human. Well, this is bullshit. <laughs> I'm no goddamn. Mr. President, I can think of only one man with the knowledge and resources to build this robot. Dr. Yoji Amada. Huh. A recognized genius in the field of AI and founder of Amada, Japan's largest robotics corporation. You don't sound too sure. So this photograph is 40 years old. Amada hasn't been seen in public since. Well, that's crazy. He'd be 80 years old by now. The Amada Corporation is in league with Japan's New Order. I read about them. Isolationists. Self-sufficiency, that's right. Yes, sir. They wield a lot of influence over the Ministry of Homeland Affairs. And you really think they're behind this infiltration? Besides myself, Amada is the only man I know who's capable of this. Get me the IRTA in Geneva. <laughs> Woo! There's our way out, man! Yeah. What a plan, huh? Right? Right.
this part of your big plan too? Whoa, what the hell is that? Base to Beetle 2. We've reestablished the comm. Do you read? Loud and clear, Major, but make it fast! We have detected multiple rapid and intense heat signatures near the seawall. Looks like a large-scale battle. And? Well, radio chatter indicates that the Ministry is trying to flush out the resistance. That's all fascinating, Major, but we got a situation over here. Go! Point is, stay on the seawall for a while. Right now, outside the wall, it's crawling with security. Oh, no, he tells us! Thanks for nothing, Major! <laughs> so much for our covert up. Check them out! Whoa! Talk about a close one! Stan, watch out for those pigs! Whoa! How far are we gonna slide? I ever tell you I hate thrill rides? Yeah! We ever gonna stop? This is the last time I listen to HQ! Isn't this over yet? Today just sucks! Whoa! Too fast, man! Shit! Looks like we plowed through it! Jump for it! Hey, are you alright? Huh? Anything broken? Just my inner peace. <laughs> Let's keep moving. <laughs> Yo, Dan! Hi! So this is the resistance HQ was talking about. Damn! Of all the shit to stumble into! Man, this ain't fair! We ain't part of no resistance! Yeah, well, maybe they're flushing out illegal aliens, too! Base to Beetle 3, do you read? Yeah. Kinda busy here, Major. Zip rap. Oh, never better. Where the hell is our rendezvous point? Just keep going in that direction. You're almost there. Roger that. Damn, check it out. Enemy transport. They just keep coming and coming. Whoa, damn, damn, you really rocked that shit. Ain't nothing able to bring you down. Revel in it, man, you earned it. Come on, bro, let's do this.
Better watch out for an enemy ambush. Sniper, take cover! I'll act as a decoy while you take those snipers out. Take out those snipers. My life's in your hands, brother. Here goes nothing. Sniper at 12 o'clock. Sniper at 9 o'clock. Sniper at 3 o'clock. Yo, rendezvous point ain't far now. Finally get to meet our new British friend. Phillips said the guy's ex-MI6, a real agent, not some pencil pusher. So watch your back, all right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Multinational unit sounds all fine and dandy, but everyone's got their own agendas. And that includes us, you and me, brother. We trust each other and nobody else. It is what it is. Whoa, listen to me. We getting old, brother. Stop me if I'm boring you. Thanks, brother. But you don't have to get all soft on me. Alright, enough chatter. Let's get busy.
another greeting party. So let's say hello. Yeah, I'm fine, bro. This ain't nothing. That was sweet! Over here! <clears throat> no, they're human. And how in the hell can you tell that? Well, how in the hell can't you? Look at them. They're just kids. Huh. Weapon scavengers. Never seen them start this young. Nice guns. I could get a lot of money for those. Why don't you hand them over? Kid, it's two on one. And these guns are way bigger than yours. So much for two-on-one. Yeah. You know, killing kids isn't my idea of fun. Get up then. Now. They ain't green. Reckon they want to light us up. I wonder what their parents would be thinking of them now! Hey! I said drop your weapons! Are you deaf? it wasn't quite finished. Happens sometimes with scrapheads. I've seen a lot of good soldiers taken out like that. Now, you were saying about our guns? Nah, I figure we owe you one now. So I've changed my mind. Well, how about that? Pretty dangerous work for kids. We do what we have to. Resistance pays good money for these scraphead weapons. Food on the table, you know. You should find a new line of work for these kids. Seems like most of them have forgotten how to smile. A 
Like any of us has a choice. Look around you, Yankee man. No future! Come on, Dan. Ain't nothing we could do. Damn, look at this place. Anyone attacks now, we're gonna look like burger patties. All part of the thrill, right, brother? I'm telling you, man. Live around here long enough and we'd all wind up looking like them kids back there. No hope, no future. How did it all end up this way, man? <laughs> 